we have a new war with uh, the thorn in my side that is Ming. It's more than just a thorn. It's more of a uh, battle axe by comparison of a, to a thorn. Um, need to keep an eye on all of my armies, specifically the ones that are really just in Caradel, and I just it completely spaced my mind to set a leader there. We've successfully colonized uh, Kagayan for our mission. Uh, the mission's not satisfied yet because we have to wait until it is, I think, 400 population before anything happens. Yeah, colonial population 400. And I'm losing money right now, 16 gold a month. At the same time, uh, one of my colonies will be finished eventually, within a couple of years, I think. Uh, yeah, that's going to be finished in within two years. So, uh, before I forget, I'm going to take these light ships and put them together in the coast of Gujarat. There should be 10, why are there not 10? Because one is still being built. Cool, uh, protect trade in Gulf of Aden. So I wanna take one of my generals, this guy actually, And I want to create another one, a new general. He's amazing, isn't he? Nope, not amazing, but he'll do. He's actually pretty good at sieging. Um, so when this siege finishes, I will, or no, uh... I'll figure it out. I'm. I'll have to decide. What are the claims I have over here? I do have a claim on uh, Signac. Let's go north first, or yeah, north. Commonwealth accept, accepted peace with Ottomans. Commonwealth will cede Potale and uh, Ox, Oxacal to Ottomans. Oxacal. Strong military leadership. We lose uh, either 20 army tradition and the Mansabdars gain loyalty. Or we lose the stability and the Mansabdars lose 10 loyalty. I'll take the hit stability. And then I'm going to boost it back up. Okay, so that general that looked really good on paper. Um, this is Fakri Musharif. Let's so put this guy, that new guy, in uh, charge of this army and move them to Hami. And then we'll move this army to Turfan. Turpan, not Turfan. <clears throat> um, and then the Cardell army is going to come and try to probably siege or uh, reoccupy their land. We just lost a general. The one leading the siege in Hotan. <clears throat> You've occupied another thing in Cardell. 
they're going to Kaiselkum. So we will go. Um. Slightly damaged, cautious. Slightly damaged, cautious. Okay. Those should form up, right? I think that's something relatively newer. They never used to do that, but it doesn't look like they're being smart about it doing it right now either. Here comes a Ming army. And there is also another Ming army. Locked in to both. This could end really badly, actually. I'm going to put that um, leader in charge there. And I think I meant to do that originally, but... We've won the Siege of Hotan. Um, I'm going to get another general. He's crap. Kind of crap, anyway. Move up there. It looks like we're going to win at least one of these. We won both. We're winning both of these fights. There's no way we don't. Integrating Siak. We've integrated Siak. Okay, so uh, what do our what does our naval force on the look like now? Eighty three. We have five transports that I don't want. Don't think I want three light ships there either. I think it's a total of six actually. It's a heavy. Send him back to the fleet with the heavies. I'll sink. I'll uh, disband those light ships. I should probably. I should have. Should have picked out which ones were newer, uh, because I haven't been upgrading old ships into new ones. Okay, let's see. So there. So guys, alright. I can live with that. Uh, let's build a or fabricate another claim, this time on that 15 development province down here. Ming is weak. They're not as strong as I... As I like to think of them as. Oh great, and we're actually going to take a fight here, which is not good. Um, when will they arrive? 23rd of February, where we will leave on. We're getting away just barely a day late. And now we won't get there a day late. Alright, so this guy is Harun Rumi. So we will put him in charge there. Discontent has expired in Mughals. OK. 
Okay. Right, we won the battle there. Um, put those guys together. Stronger general will be, will be left in charge. We'll take them off of forced march, consolidate the regiments, and then go up to try to take on that Ming army. That might be a bad idea. We'll see. We don't actually need to occupy any of that to take it. Um, leader treat gained. Is it, he's a glory seeker now. Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll leave the tariffs alone. Ooh, ooh, uh... I don't... I think I'm going to want to pick off the three. We won the Siege of Hami. Let's move on to... Uh, Balakul. We got, uh, Meng to leave the Siege of Tur- or the, uh... Occupation of Turkestan alone. Can we get rid of this army and make them be the... Nope. Ooh. I should run before that. Go to Bukhara. Nope. Not, not good enough. Alright, I guess that means Ming will reoccupy some of that stuff. Wait, we won that? They, were they not occupying it at all? Consolidate res regiments. Uh, how much will that... That'll take 2,000 troops away from that if I refill that garrison. Um, let's keep, keep it moving. These are mountains, and I think if they're, if I am the one who holds that fort, and they, they go and try to siege that out, I should be the one who... Hostiles Separatists. In shot. Let's put this navy together. Probably helps to actually look it up. Oh, it's over here. Ottomans have a ton, or not a ton of rebels, just a few rebels in their Egyptian parts. And they're actually at war with Mamluks and Tlemcen. Okay. Looks like we're about to attack into something. Want to put that general in charge. Let's go take that army there.
Okay. So they decided not to go. Let's go up to uh, Balakul then. Let's take this to, uh, the reserve regiments up to Uzkand and try to siege that or occupy that real quick. A spirit decor. Uh, the strain the the military lifestyle puts the men who serve under can uh, can under good circumstances lead to the development of a spirit of belonging and cooperation that greatly strengthens the armed forces. During recent conflict with Boreatia, we have seen clear signs that our troops are working better together, and they have formed strong bonds of loyalty and duty to the Mughal's crown that would have seemed hard to imagine just a few years ago. Game three professionalism. Okay, we've occupied you men. I'm going to do this. We will get there on the, the I mean on the twenty first. We'll get there on the twelfth of September. Unless we run, in which case it's the seventh. That's the seventeenth. That's the tenth now, okay? Bad send the cavalry in first, but necessary in this situation, I think. They're all going to Hami, too. We've won the siege of uh, Zhang Yi. We'll move all of our troops in. These guys need to go back there, or actually, those guys will go up to, no, back to Balakul. These guys will go to Zazakt. Uh, <coughs> These guys will go over here. And they'll arrive on the 10th, right? Good. Ooh. They're reinforcing, and now we're going to be reinforcing. I'd say that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good battle. So these guys are supposed are just staying here right now. These guys can move over here. Oh, we these guys are moving up into the mountains now. I don't like that. It's not fighting the mountains. Uh Balakul. Okay, so Ming is right there. Let's not go in there. Just yet. What's this? Seriously, this is probably Siak's army. Thank you, Siak. I can disband that if I really need to. And get the manpower for it. Thanks to professionalism. They're still locked in. 13th of October. I think they're fucked. Um, let's take all these guys off of Force March right now. And that looks good to me.
Uh, let's go in and try to get this, pick off this Saragogo army. I am losing quite a bit of money right now. Is that mountains? It is. That's my cav army. That is... This is also a cav army. Yarkand already... Yarkand definitely wants out. Send these guys up. Actually, no. Send these. Send them to two different places for now. And keep an eye on this Ming army. And I'm going to switch these guys around. And those guys are running away still. Wait for that to finish. Once the Ming army is locked. Once the Ming army is locked, I'm going to send in my armies. I have still the 80% there. I'm seven years ahead of time and I can get... Uh, Admin Tech 18 or 19 for how much? 745. Okay. So that's if I wanted to. Could I maybe get a East Hindu? So no. I have 66.92 army professionalism and I'm going to sacrifice a little bit more of that for manpower right now. Why am I doing that? Let's do that instead. Move these guys up to uh, Shimkent. Actually, no. Let's go try to deal with this little army here trying to take back their stuff. Shift consolidate before we do that. It's the Cardell army. Oh, great. Mamlukian Separatists in our lands. Won the Occupation of Gobi? Was that what it was? Or the Battle of... Battle. Okay. These guys are going to Xining. We've won that battle. Uh, okay. They, they're attacking into Highlands. Ooh. Double time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seriously? We're winning this fight. My god, how good are my troops? Okay, those guys just won. We just won the battle at Luzken. I didn't even need to bring these guys. 
Let's go up to Shimkent and actually to Sozak or Sozak. Try to catch the Karadel army instead. Mughals occupied Govi. Ming's coming up uh, now there. Okay, we didn't catch them. Catch the uh, Cardell army. I'll catch something. Send these guys to protect trade in the Gulf of Aden with their uh, other other guys. They did. Those guys did form up. Let's go help those guys. Actually, cool. I think taking another Ming fort would be nice. Ming is still at high war enthusiasm. Mild winter. We need to get out of the northern provinces, I think. Let's go to Karakorum. Take this army up to Govi. What is our... Our absolutism is at 26 already. All of my revolts are, uh, revolt risk is low now. I mean, not revolt risk, unrest. Um, is there any way I could change that? Like, not change that, uh, but change it so that it's slower. That's what I mean to say. War exhaustion's not too bad. I could increase my stability again. It's only 135 right now. Let's do it. Something that I, I, I think I mentioned before that I would like to force the court and country uh, disaster in this game. To force my absolutism to go up just so like I'd like to see what it's like to have like some of the best absolutism possible seriously they're running away to Shimkent stop that right now okay those guys are all moving to the right place and Right away, I'm going to fire on uh, or order a barrage on this fort. I've won the Battle of Shimkent. We'll move up to Sozak. Let this one occupy Shimkent for us. Uh, Ming is uh, trying to reoccupy Yumen. Ottomans would still come into a uh, war with uh, Bengal if we declared one. Hey, we won that. Hey, Ming, do you want out? 22 out of... 22 positive, 43 negative. 
That's desert. Twentieth of June, fifteenth of June. These guys get out of there on the nineteenth of June or twenty ninth of June. Let's try to catch some catch these guys. Chehalis is almost done, meaning we'll be uh, probably back to making money. Send them both to Taraz and combine them and then redistribute them so that we have a little bit of cav and uh, cannon in both armies. It won't help much, but... Uh, Did we did we just stack wipe a Ming army? I'm not even sure. Let's turn those guys off the uh we'll go to Datong. Get another another Ming fort if we can. Guys are going to Ihuri, and we'll arrive on the second of August. We will finish this occupation. The colony of Chehalis has grown enough to become self self sustaining. And we're making money again. Not a huge amount, but it's enough to uh, make it so that we won't have to take out any loans. On the 18th, they'll arrive in that province. England has claimed the Catholic Defender of the Faith. Native Assimilation in Squamish. We've occupied Taraz. So let's combine that army. Consolidate the regiments. And then... Thirteen. And kind of uneven, but that's fine. I think I should maybe keep these guys together at all times. Not together together, because I want them to spread out and uh, occupy stuff uh, separately, but... They're going to Hiri. We want these guys to reinforce that. These guys are going to Datong. These guys are going up to Kara Naranula. They'll arrive on the 3rd of August, then we'll move them down to Hohat. Hopefully, one of these sieges will be enough to get Ming out. But, uh,. We're going to continue to press our uh, huge advantage. I don't know what it is that makes us like incredibly powerful, whether it's the quality ideas or that we have a really high army professionalism, which gives us uh, land fire and shock damage. Um, we're, we were the same tech, and we're still the same tech. So I don't know. I don't know what what's holding Ming back. Like we've we've won like every battle against except uh, with our main armies we've won every battle with them, uh, but the auxiliary armies are kind of. We still need to babysit them essentially. I mean, Ming could probably send everything they have against one of these or like all of my combined armies and uh, all main armies and uh, we'd probably take them. And I think there was a battle like that, or I might be wrong, but uh. This war is probably not going to last as long as I thought it would. On that subject, what could I get right now?
They'd give me that. They wouldn't give me up to Narum. But everything south of there I want, right? Ooh. Be a lot of overextension. Not a huge amount, though. Not undoable. Or not, uh... It'd be manageable. I'll put it that way. Can we really take all the Samarkand node from them in one war? I could. It's a lot of aggressive expansion. And I would never have to go to war with Cardell again. I have to push the war score really high, though. So the ideal way to do that would be to get Ming out of this war. Alright, so that's that's my plan. Ming needs to be out. So we'll go after some other forts and hopefully get them. Try to get their armies as well. But uh, that's the battle plan. And I will continue in the next episode.